So welcome to Music Around the World Polka Spotlight. My name is Yvonne Veeman, and this is my wonderful husband, Dan. Yes, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another wonderful hour here on Polka Spotlight. We're delighted you've tuned in, and we've got some great music and dancing in store for you. Let's take a moment and welcome the Kathy Erickson Band with a big round of applause. Thank you. And we'll also take a moment and introduce the members of the band. And first up, on vocals and alto sax, let's welcome Mary Jo Sturman. Next up on alto and tenor sax, let's welcome Frank Olson. Next up on the drums, let's welcome Andy Erickson. And lastly on vocals and accordion, let's have a warm welcome for the one and only Kathy Erickson. All right, before we get rolling, we have a quick dedication we'd like to do to Jan and Doc Sting, celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. This comes to them from their sons, Mark, Paul, and Greg of White Bear Lake, Minnesota. Congratulations. <laughs> and this next song is called Tick Tock Polka. Let's dance. <laughs>
All right, if you would like to send us an email with a dedication or a special request, you can do that to the email address on your screen there, and we will certainly try to get it on the air for you. That's right, and our next song will be dedicated to the owner of the Majestic Ballroom in Cottage Grove, Minnesota, Jen Meisner, from uh, your friends Adeline and Mary. Yeah, we did some dancing there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and this next song is called Walk Through This World. This is our tribute to George Jones. Walk through this world. song will be dedicated to Glory and Del Holtman of Vadness Heights, who celebrated their 67th uh, wedding anniversary back in June. All right, and we also have a 57th wedding anniversary to James and Elsie Doctor. It happens to be Jesse Stinsky, who's our sound technician, his daughter, Kayla, it's her grandparents. So congratulations to James and Elsie Doctor, 57 years, that's wonderful. And it's actually tomorrow, the 14th of July. And the song is Somewhere My Love.
All right, we have a quick dedication going out. She says, happy thoughts to the residents of Ann Bodlevic Apartments. I hope I announced that right. Mm -hmm. Ann Bodlevic Apartments from your friend Dana Nelson. Yes, happy, happy thoughts are always going on with this show, aren't they? That's right. <laughs> okay. It's the happy hour. Yes, <laughs> in some ways. And our next song is called The Orphan Waltz. Here we go. It's a little Czech song. We're going to dedicate this to all our Czech friends out there. The Orphan Walls. <laughs> a lovely song beautiful for your Czech friends do you have quite a few oh, yes. yeah I I think I know the name of it yeah I am Sirot that I mean I am uh, orphan yeah yeah that's a beautiful song yeah yes yeah. well let's welcome John Belagic our producer here big round of applause Hi there, how are you? I'm doing great how are you doing very good so far yeah enjoying I your summer I don't know how far are you enjoying your summer yeah, we had too many rainy days. Uh, I know it delayed a lot of baseball, but uh, yeah. I had a fun time. I had I took a 35-hour train ride from Seattle. That's to, what I want to ask you. To Minneapolis, if you can how, believe it. How you can sit on a train for 35 um, hours? That, I'll never do it again. I'll tell you. <laughs> wow. I got off that train and I felt like I was on a state fair ride for way too long. I had, I felt like I had to get my sea legs under me again. Can you imagine 35 hours? Oh. It was brutal. It was beautiful going through the Cascade Mountains, through uh, the upper parts of Washington and, and a little of Montana. Uh, but my gosh, the, the views of the mountains were incredible. Did I don't you, if you ever get you that a, chance. Did you have a sleeping car? We did not. We had to sleep in just kind of an upright position. 35 hours. 35 hours. It was brutal. Why? But it was, it was a fun adventure. The boys loved it. If you ever get the chance to take some young ones on a long train ride, but not that long. Six hours would be enough. So. See, I was thinking to do the same thing with my, my wife, but now I'm going to think twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, are you enjoying the rest of your summer? You got some big plans for the end of the summer? Well, uh, yeah, we have a lot of different things to do, and gonna now we're going to go to different parades and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we'll be in the Hopkins Raspberry Festival Parade uh, in uh, mid-July here. Yeah, and uh, State Fair Parade. State Fair, yeah. that's right. So many things to do. And I was wondering, if the Cassie, Kathy Erickson Band, are you going to be out at the State Fair playing uh, at any... No, we're not. Not this year? No. Oh, okay. We All have right. to make connections. <laughs> I, I think we can do that. I think John's got some connections. We do go to Canada for the Corner and Apple Festival in Morden, Manitoba, which is a big event up there. Oh. That's closer than the cities. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, we, uh, we'd like to uh, start up our next song. It's the Button Accordion Polka, 
And uh, do you have someone you want to dedicate a song to? Oh, I'd like to dedicate this to all of our listeners in the Twin Cities and um, my brother George. He lives down here. Okay. So, great. Yeah. But but an accordion that's Slovenian is right. Yes, sir. See, yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right, here we go. Let's dance. a peppy tune. I enjoyed that. All right. Uh, the song dedication line that uh, you can send us a dedication by calling the phone number on your screen and we'll see if we can get it on the show. And uh, we'd like to dedicate a song to one of our fine dancers, uh, Gene uh, Skolte. Uh, you might remember him as the guy with the black hat and the white feather. He recently passed away in June, so our condolences go out to him, his family. And you know what? He's probably dancing polkas in heaven right now. So yes. this one's for you, Gene. Yes. Yes. Now, that, this doesn't segue very well, <laughs> but he might get a laugh at it, about it in heaven. It says, your cheating heart is the next, next song. song. Doesn't okay. really fit too no, well. No, it doesn't. But, but Gene, but anyway, we love you. Thank yes. you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, the next song is going to be a shoddish. So everybody in the room, let's get ready for a circle shoddish. And uh, while they're doing that, we've got a couple dedications yes. we want to do. Go ahead, Dan. And uh, one of our big fans, Bob from Crystal, he called in to say, this is the greatest TV program on TV. Yep. He, he says, that's quite a compliment. Has been, he's been dancing since he was a teenager, and he learned to dance by reading the daily newspaper as it used to have Arthur Murray dance steps published in the paper. So he learned the foxtrot and the waltz by reading the paper. So oh, isn't, yeah, isn't that a great way to learn? <laughs> Never <laughs> so, tried that, but. And Yvonne says, uh, if you can read, you can cook. So now if you can read, you can dance. How about it? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and I have a quick dedication from Lowell and Jean who want to wish Dennis Jar Jarnot I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Jarnot. Happy birthday. Dennis celebrated his birthday on June 25th. He's formerly from Holdingford, Minnesota, but he now lives in Shoreview. Thanks for sending that in, Lois, uh, Lowell and Jean. And hey, they are all set up. Let's dance to the, oh, Kathy, help Central me out. Shottish, Johan Pesnippen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's a Scandinavian number. You know, we have a close to Thief River Falls, and they are known for having the majority of the Scandinavian in the whole United States. So this is Johan Pesnippen. Well, that was a fun little circle shot -ish. It was. Thank you, everybody, for participating. I know I couldn't do that on the fly. <laughs> it's like, okay. Oh, and we have this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do this on the fly, too, shall we? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It is time to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our crew members. And first up, our sound technician is Jesse Stinsky. Give it up for Jesse. <laughs> and next up, we have Marsha Patton, our wonderful director. Put your hands together for Marsha. There she is. Thank you, Marsha. 
And next up on graphics, we have Ruben Tahir. Thank you so much, Ruben, for all your efforts. And next up, our first cameraman is Bruce Harms. Put your hands together for Bruce. Thank you, Bruce, for being here and all your efforts. And next, we have Larry Hapia. Yahoo! Thank you, Larry. Do you know, Larry likes to polka, too, so look out. He might see him on the dance floor. Kind of like, where's Waldo? Where's Larry? And Larry's grip today is Danny Connor Smith. Put your hands together for Danny. Thank you, Danny. They actually do a, a mean little polka themselves. Yes, Larry and Danny do. So last but not least, give it up for Karen Wood, our camera person as well. Thank you, Karen, for all your efforts. We have a great crew, a very dedicated bunch, and we are so appreciative of all that they do. And we thanks, do Nikki Jacket, for the lighting. Yes, absolutely. And our next song will be a very famous song, uh, Edelweiss. All right. And here we go. <laughs> Beautiful singing. Thank yes, you so much, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. And ladies and gentlemen, if you have a dedication you want to mail to us in the U.S. mail, the address is right on your screen. All right. And we have a comment from Bryce Olson of Bismarck. He called in to say, thank you for the show. We are enjoying watching it every Saturday evening in Bismarck. So, yes. Well, and the show airs in Bismarck, Jamestown, Valley City, Fargo, Moorhead. Brandon, I feel like I should sing that song. I've been everywhere, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'll right. leave this singing to you, Mary Jo. Okay, yeah, she's laughing back there like, wow, she's really bad. She probably knows that, she probably knows that song. <laughs> she probably does. Anyway, uh, also we have a dedication from Sharon and Bev, our, our two wonderful nurses, special nurses who care for Henry and Honey. And Henry just passed away in June, but Sharon and Bev wanted you to know that he is a, was a wonderful, wonderful man. And Honey tunes in every day. So thank you so much for doing That's that. That's right. And I'd like to thank our dance partners in the last song. We had Madison and Sydney. We're very good dancers, don't yes. you think? Sweet little girls. Yes. <laughs> and our next song is the clarinet polka. Here we go.
All right, and we have a quick dedication to a gentleman that's in our studio audience. Uh, his name is Sievert Legrand, and he is a National Hall of Fame college cross country and track coach who is celebrating his 77th birthday in July, just two weeks from today. And he also celebrated his 55th class reunion at St. Olaf College. There he is right there. Put the camera right on him, yes. Thank you, Sievert, for being here. We appreciate it. All right. And we'll take just a brief moment and, and talk to Kathy here, the leader of the band. Now, Kathy, uh, uh, you were telling me earlier it's that you're going to be taping an episode uh, of this special show, Molly B's Radio. Yes, show? Molly B is uh, bringing her taping to the Medina Ballroom uh -huh. in, uh, in Ed Edina, uh -huh. and that it would be Medina. Uh, Medina, excuse That's me. Right. Yeah, Medina. We better not get the towns mixed up. <laughs> Medina Ballroom on well, it's going to be the eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh. But we're on there Saturday, the tenth, uh -huh. along with a lot of other bands. Every hour is a different band. Yeah. And we are taping, and that will be shown on the Molly B Polka Show, which is aired on RFD TV, which is on through the satellite. That's great. So we are uh, rubbing elbows with the rich and famous <laughs> right here. But you know, <laughs> on that show, you get to play maybe three songs, and here you get to play for the whole hour. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Thumbs up for Polka Spotlight. Thumbs up for Polka Spotlight, yes. Yeah. That's great. Well, yeah. <laughs> John says, Polka Spotlight, best show in the world. It is. You know, we well. really appreciate um, the way you do it, the way that you uh, let us do the show here because we're, we're not under a bit of stress at all, just the lights that cause yeah. us to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do any close-ups of any of us. <laughs> You'll see all the sweat. <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit about these band members here. That uh, Well, how, how long Mary Jo has been playing with the band for over 25 years, and like I said one other time, uh, she didn't get a pacifier in the crib, she got a saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's great. And uh, mm. she's a, a real asset to the band. And, you know, mothers and daughters don't always see eye to eye, but we do manage to get through and have a lot of fun. Oh, well, that's great. Four years ago, Frank Olson sent me an email wanting to know if he could play in our band. And uh, he wasn't even 20 years old at the time, and so... Uh, we, he sat in with us a few times and then uh, joined the band and we're just glad and he likes the music and he likes to go out and dance as you did see a little bit ago. Ah. We s just like Lawrence Volk, we send our band members out to dance. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and, uh, uh, and, and then back on the drums, Andy has been playing drums for us on and off since he was probably 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. I think he started because he was kind of a dividend, you know, he was, uh, came along a few years after Mary Jo. No, they're actually, they're twins. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so we were glad to have him whenever we could play drums, and it was just, it's just a real pleasure to have him come down and play in Polka Spotlight. Uh -huh. And uh, Andy lives at Garfield, Minnesota. Okay. And is the next generation of band members uh, sitting right the over here? The band members, yes, they are. You know, I was surprised to see Madison wanted to get out on the circle shotish. That's pretty yes. good. Uh, they look like they're enjoying uh, a sippy cup and <laughs> something else. They pretty are. Pretty relaxed. You know, they're going to wake up and they're going to talk all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> We've, that's been happening. And yeah. this is my 38th year in the, with the band business, and I hope to make 40. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Now, uh, that means you must have started when you were about seven, right? Yeah, well, yeah 20. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> well, tell me, when you first started, what, what got you to choose this instrument uh, over all the other instruments? What, well, what? my uncle gave me an accordion, brought an accordion from Wisconsin one summer. When he got a button accordion, he brought me his piano accordion. And we always listened to polka party and a lot of old-time music. And, uh, you know, I started playing it. And... Some people says, well, why don't you come and play? It was kind of a demand or whatever. So uh -huh. although the first, uh, you know, the first time I played with the old time band, I played guitar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I graduated to accordion. That's great. Well, thank you. No, thank you. John says you're very good on it. Thank you. <laughs> you're good on it, he said. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'd like to flash the uh, name uh, of the band and the phone number if you want to contact the band. And I would like to say we do get calls because of this Polka Spotlight show, which I am very grateful for. Well, we're delighted to have you. And, uh, John, you're going to double their pay? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's a reason to celebrate, yes. All right. Well, Thank let's you, get John. back to the music. And the next song is French Song. Mm -hmm. 
sing happy birthday to everybody that we know. Would that be all right? Can we throw in a happy birthday? And these beautiful girls, Sydney and Madison, are going to help us sing, right? Yes. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Okay, so Dan okay. has two the and I have two. The first birthday is uh, to Twyla Rubenstein, she's turning 85. Yes, next to Kathy Shug, who celebrated on June 11th. And next is Willard's wife, who's turned 80. And happy birthday to Omar, who turned 19. Are we ready? Yes. Happy birthday to you. Okay, next song is called Tiny Bubbles, Pearly Shells. Well, let's let's dance. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to learn to dance like many of the dancers here, you can go to the web address on our screen. You'll see where the instructors are as well as where to go dance. That's right. We have a Twin Cities Open going on this weekend brought by uh, the Anderson, Scott and Amy Anderson, and uh, lots of fun in the Twin Cities to dance. So Yes. Our next song will be dedicated to Betty Schull of Fargo. We would like to wish a happy birthday to her son-in-law, John Beer, and Jim and Michelle Hansel of Grafton, all celebrating birthdays. That's right, and we have a quick happy anniversary going out to Ed and Norma uh, Winezero, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, of Park Rapids. They celebrated their anniversary on June 19th. Congratulations to them. And our next song is Going Back to My Homeland. Here we go. Right. Thank you, Kathy and company. We have a couple of great dancers and wonderful friends. Let's give it up for Ron and Doris Lazarski. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Great so to be here. We're glad you're here. I hear you've got lots of stuff going on this summer. Why don't you fill us in? Oh, we've been busy. We've got grandkids playing baseball, so that's busy. And we've been dancing everywhere. Ron has a list of the places oh. where we have met Good. some people. Okay. But uh, before that, I'd like to wish Irene Schuler well. She's a very avid Polka Spotlight watcher. Great. And she loves Czech songs. So oh. I was watching again. <laughs> <laughs> I was You're checking on her. her. Right. So at least she got one Czech song. Yeah. We also met up with Dean and Rena Smith. They tell us they told us to dance a couple for them. So I think we met that criteria today. <laughs> <laughs> Billy and Bernice Roth from Jamestown, North Dakota. I believe we met them at Gastoff's. Okay. And Laura Quick, I think is the right name. She is the mother to a friend of our daughters. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's kind of gets around, but she loves Polka Spotlight. Great. Great. So, and Ron can tell you where we've all been this summer, and it's been just a whirlwind of fun. Good for you. Good for like we don't sit still. <laughs> <laughs> That's what retirement's all about, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> if somebody says, you know, what do you do? I says, well, I'm retired. But I don't know how I had time to work. <laughs> There you go. That's true. <laughs> uh, well, we've been to Apple Valley Senior Center, okay. carefree um, assisted living. Oh, that's in Burnsville. In yeah. Burnsville, okay. yeah. Friends of the Summer Hill of Apple Valley. Okay. Uh, Freedom Point, and then oh, we always go to gas stops. We're there at least once a week, and um, then the Highlight uh, Chateau, Highland Chateau. Highland Chateau. Oh, oh, with yeah. Gladys. We were over there. Oh, that that's was, right. That with was Gladys fun. Moulds. We'll do some more. Yes, okay. And then uh, we, we've been invited to go to the uh, Golden Prom in Oakdale. Boy, was that a blast. We had a good, great time. Oh, yeah. Senior prom. Oh, what a great idea. Yeah. And yeah. there were people, the, the girls had the long gowns, and, you know, the guys had tuxedos or, you know. It, 
It, it was, was a lot of fun. Were they baby fun. blue tuxedos, like long ago? <laughs> no. No, 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 just the tuxedo. <laughs> but we hadn't even walked in the door yet, and we had people all over. Oh, we watch you on yeah. Poker Spotlight. <laughs> so we wanted to say hello to those of us, to those of them that we met at the prime, because it was fun. And then we were over at the Bexter Fest, oh, that's uh, just a like uh, like a lot of them. Uh, and uh, then we went to the International Polka Fest up in Carleton, Minnesota, with uh, the Shmoleskis. Oh, okay. And uh, that was a great time. And again, we had a lot of people there. Okay. Okay. And a lot of them, you know, kept saying, "Well, we see you on the show. We love the show. Keep it on." And oh, no, fantastic! It's, yeah. Oh, it's and great. I believe the Shmoleski band is going to be taping later this year. That's right. So well, can you fun. lead us out on the next one and show us your fanciest steps? No. <laughs> no, we're going to take those two. Hey, oh, you know what? Oh. We have come to the end of our show. So actually, yes, you guys can lead us out. And we want to give a big round of applause to all of our studio dancers. Thank yes. you so much for tuning in and being and here. Thank you to our granddaughters of Kathy Erickson. Yes, yes. to Sydney and Madison. The good to helpers. John Belagic and to our fantastic crew. And let's give it up for the Kathy Erickson Band. Yes, big round of applause. We're going to go out with the Red Wing Polka. God bless you all. Oh.